lads, welcome back. Welcome back to Maverick Baking. Welcome back to another chocolate bar review. If you're new to the channel, my name is Kelly and here on this channel we talk about chocolate, we make cakes together, we do vlogs, we do these like 24 hour food challenge things. Occasionally I remember to finish a series that I start. <laughs> it's a lot of fun, there's a lot of eating and it would be lovely to see you again. So do consider subscribing, but you know, no hard feelings if not. But we are here in the Pacho Herrera fit today and we are going to talk about a brand new chocolate bar. Well, br brand new, <laughs> technically brand new. The flavour combination is definitely not new. The concept is definitely not new. We're talking about the Yorkie Orange. Please hold your applause. <laughs> If you are a chocolate lover here in the UK, you will likely be aware that for some reason, every single mainstream chocolate brand has decided to go absolutely raj on the orange flavor in their bars recently. Cadbury started doing it about two years ago nearly now. Galaxy have done it. Lint have kind of ramped it up. There's vegan brands have started doing it. There's become orange versions of everything. Even Toblerone did it. And I don't really know why there's been such a wave of it. It made sense at Christmas time when orange was kind of the vibe, you know, or at least fits in with the several, <laughs> several vibes of Christmas. <laughs> several vibes and a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> okay, getting past that, it's only June, Kelly, calm down. Um, today we are talking about Nestle's crack at it. We're talking about the Yorkie orange. If, like me, you were born sometime before the year 2000, you probably remember the kind of original marketing campaign of the Yorkie. This was essentially the incredibly intelligent route of it's not for girls. So every kind of Yorkie gimmick was the fact that it was a man-sized chocolate bar. It was for men. And all of you weak females who are the largest buyers of the chocolate market aren't allowed need it. It's just too big. It's too much. You won't know what to do with it with your tiny little female mouths. Eventually they dropped this campaign and, you know, even though I understand it in the wake of a slightly more politically and sensitivity aware society that the Western world has grown into, but honestly, since then, the Yorkie probably has actually lost its USP. Like, it is still a relatively large chocolate bar, especially this duo version, but other than that, is a Yorkie anyone's favourite chocolate bar? I don't really know. But we are not here to talk about the entirety of the Yorkie brand. We are here today to let you guys know whether this Yorkie orange is worth spending your hard-earned cash on. Here in the UK over the past few weeks, because it is June, the temperature has been ridiculously changeable. It's been like 20 degrees some days, and today, for example, it is grey, windy, and about 9 degrees outside. So it's not the best kind of environment to keep chocolate in, the kind of ever-changing, semi-melted, then back to solid state, but just letting you know. So inside, when we pull out our Yorkie from the kind of duo part, you can see it's kept its kind of iconic, almost Lego brick style shape. Thick, chunky, almost cartoonishly large and cuboidular <laughs> shapes of chocolate chunks with the big Yorkie branding. I do actually like it. It's a very classic shape. It still looks a bit manly if that's kind of what they're going for. Absolutely no snap to that whatsoever. Could be influenced by the kind of changing temperatures, I will allow that, but also a dull kind of <clears throat> when you snap open a chocolate bar is not what you want to hear in any temperature. But I will say the orange smell is an absolute assault on the senses. Now, I am still firmly of the belief that the Terry's chocolate orange is the reigning king of any kind of orange flavoured chocolates, but Shall we see if the Yorkie orange is worth your money? Interesting. It is probably, having had my little kind of last parting shot of saying the Terry's chocolate orange is the best orange chocolate, you could fool me into thinking that's what this was. Now, I will actually need to double check if Terry's is owned by Nestle because it tastes like the exact same orange flavoring that's been used in this, in the the chocolate itself is completely and utterly weak. 
in every sense of the word. The texture is garbage. Again, could potentially be influenced by the temperature over the past week being changeable, but incredibly soft. Vague kind of chalky texture as you're sort of softly mashing through that chocolate, it's not ideal. The chocolate itself, cocoa is so far down the ingredients list of this bar, it's ridiculous. The main ingredient is sugar and it tastes and feels like it. It's the kind of sweet that makes your teeth kind of tingle if you hold it in your mouth kind of for too long. The flavouring is definitely there on the orange part, but the chocolate is lost, completely lost. There is absolutely no cocoa vibes from this whatsoever. It's like the softest little <gasps> of cocoa in the back of your throat and that's about it. The rest of it just tastes like all of the kind of artificial fats that they put in there to mimic the texture of actual chocolate, the butter fat, the shea fat, I think it's palm oil and shea oil they put in there. Yeah, just, which is used in place of cocoa butter because they're cheaper to use and they do kind of mimic some sense of creaminess, but they also completely dilute any chocolate flavor. But one thing I will say is in terms of the kind of genetic orange chocolate wave that we've had over the past year, this is probably one of the better ones in terms of encapsulating the truest sense of an orange chocolate. While it doesn't have the same lingering strength of a Terry's chocolate orange, which uses orange oil, as did the Toblerone, I believe, which I also did recommend, it was objectively good. Like the Cadbury's products use this kind of oil or flavoring that just didn't really kind of deliver the same flavor, but it also masked the chocolate. This, if you're just looking for a big citrusy smack, as many of us do, this could be your gal. This, this could, or your man, I should say. This could be your man. Is it the most memorable chocolate bar I've ever had near me? Not in a million years. You know, the size is good. If you're someone who likes a substantial snack, this could be for you, especially in the duo format, but it's overwhelmingly sweet and the chocolate may as well not exist. It may as well just be like a bar of orange sort of stuff, essentially. The orange part, is good, the chocolate part is trash, and on that basis, for kind of being a balance of both, I will give the Yorkie Orange a very kind of middle of the road, three out of five. Definitely not the worst, definitely will not be excitedly rushing out to buy this again. If you have tasted the Yorkie Orange, do let me know what you thought in the comments below. Am I being too harsh or is the market just truly so oversaturated with orange nowadays that there are so many options this will likely drown in the competition? Let me know what you think. In the meantime though, that is all I have time for today guys. Thank you so so much for watching and for your patience over the last few weeks because I know the uploads have been a bit janky compared to normal. But thank you so much for being here as always and I will see you for the next one.